Who is watching the gatekeepers? The government needs to have an anti-corruption law. Investigation of high-level officials increases credibility of the party. We're looking forward to the establishment of a supervision commission. Interest is keen in the reports from the top judiciary and procuratorate. This year, expectations for building a clean government are running even higher with the release of the new figures on corrupt officials. Chinese courts last year convicted and punished 63,000 criminals in 45,000 cases of embezzlement, bribery and breach of duty, including several serious cases involving 35 officials above provincial and ministerial level. Procurators last year investigated over 47,000 public servants at county levels and above, including 21 at provincial and ministerial levels, in graft, bribery, embezzlement of public funds, as well as abuse of power. 48 former officials above provincial and ministerial levels were on public prosecution. These figures are seen as the key achievements in the war on corruption. They also indicate just how serious the problem is. Many experts say the focus should be on the causes of corruption rather than its symptoms. Professor He Jiahong says a new mindset is needed because the backlog is so great. If we, we do not deal with the corruption, uh, accumulated in the last 30 years carefully, we cannot have the good institutions or system to prevent future corruption. We should have very strict investigation on corruption cases, but we should have different policies dealing with the different corruptions happened in different times. He Jiahong advocates a leniency program for crimes committed long ago to encourage corrupt officials to come clean. They would be given a timeline to declare and return their illegal assets. The professor says what's needed is an accountability system that ensures prevention and oversight of those in power to close the loopholes. Last October, President Xi Jinping called for guaranteeing that officials dare not, cannot, and do not want to be corrupt. The CPC says the country will establish a national supervisory commission and push the stipulation of a law on national supervision. Ever since the new leadership took office five years ago, the government has been intensifying the crackdown on corruption year after year, targeting both the tigers and the flies. The disturbing numbers of corrupt officials show the need to keep up the pressure. But punishment alone is not enough. The challenge is how to find an effective approach to guarantee a clean government. Hamid, CGTN, Beijing.